Your highlights from round three of the Meyer LPGA Classic. Once again, beautiful day for golf and kayaking, anything like that. Here, third hole, Lizette Salas, birdie putt, drops that to go 11 under par. Move to the ninth hole now. Watch the approach shot on the par four. It's a beauty. She put this about 12 feet away, would make that for birdie to go 13 under par. And then she made birdies at 14, 15, and 16. This one at 15 put her at 15 under. She shoots a 64 and opens a four-shot lead. The putter really, really came in today. Um, just kept in the fairway and kept kept knocking them close. Uh, I made. I don't know what's going on. It's just <laughs> everything's been going my way, and and I've been staying positive and. Just really focusing on my shots and, and kind of have this, this um, I don't know, just go at the pins t uh, attitude today. And everything just kept going my way and really, really happy. Now, Sal has played in the final pairing with her second round co-leaders, Allison Lee. Lee with a birdie on seven here. She didn't have many of those. Shot a one under seven, 70, and she is at 10 under par. 18th hole, Lexi Thompson, her other playing partner. Beautiful approach shot. That would set up an easy birdie putt. Thompson bounced back from a bogey at 17, makes that birdie. She finishes 12 under and is four shots back. The other player at 12 under par is Chris Tamales, who's really struggled this year, but she played great out there. Shot a 67. She's 12 under par and very happy to be in contention. Oh, I mean, you know, maybe, but <laughs> I have very low expectations. Why? Low expectations? Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm just going to try and give myself a chance and keep, uh, keep playing my own game and um, I just want to have a good finish. Yeah, how often do you hear a player say they have low expectations going into the final round where they're four shots off the pace? Great round for Chris Tamales. Again, Tamales and Thompson, four shots behind Lizette Salas, your leader, and then a group, six players at 10 under par, includes Carolyn Masson, uh, Brittany Lincecum, Allison Lee, Jarena Piller, and uh, Katie Burnett. So tons of birdies again, Larry, out here during round three. And Lizette Salas has a chance to go wire to wire. Remember, she was a co-leader after round one, co-leader after, after round two, and now all atop the leaderboard by herself after three rounds. And, of course, the lady, Jack, we were talking to you earlier this week about trying to make it to the Solheim Cup. Thanks, Jack. We'll check back with you for tomorrow's final round. Meanwhile, on the diamond.